Hey everyone, it's Tony here from HobbyParts.com. I uh, wanted to show you guys a really neat tool uh, we got in the other day. It's an Extreme uh, Brussels Motor Tester. Uh, this uh, neat little tester has three different functions. Uh, one function can be used for um, pretty much uh, analyzing the motor. It gives it a quick run through and make sure you're getting full throttle, make sure it's a true KV uh, readout and RPM. And also um, it has a Hall Effect uh, sensor test. Uh, pretty much to check the sensors that's what these little lights here are for and uh, lastly it's a motor slash differential break-in uh, let's say you guys get a new motor i uh, want to break in the bearings it's always really good actually to break in the bearings on your motor make them sit uh, seat under no load really nicely and also if you guys uh, just rebuilt a diff and want it to be as efficient and smooth running as possible it wouldn't hurt at all to break it in and you guys don't need to be holding it down your trigger for 15 20 minutes you can just uh, enter that uh, function in this tester and it does it automatically and you could actually adjust the throttle uh, with these little knobs and i'll be showing you guys uh, really quickly uh, that a little bit later uh, you get a manual uh, very informative uh, has plenty of information uh, i highly recommend uh even though you guys are watching this video still go through the matter so you could just uh, get a little bit more familiar uh, with this tester and also this tester i uh, has a uh, you guys can see on the side it has car and flight uh the car one is for two pole uh, motors and flight is for six pole if you have a different pole other than two or six it gives you a calculation in the manual that you guys could uh, run through to figure out the actual kv of your motor and on this side over here you guys see a sensor connector so if you guys are running a motor like our leopard series with the center just plug it right in and go and also uh, it comes with alligator clips you guys see here they're a color uh, one's blue yellow and orange and you guys can see in the input there's a b and c labeled it doesn't matter where you put the color you can put uh, the blue one in the C or the blue one in the A, it does not matter at all. As long as you plug it in on the corresponding slot or place on the motor, you guys can see here, uh, the first port would be A, second one would be B, and third one uh, would be C. Uh, so let me uh, quickly get this motor on the stand, get it hooked up. And uh, pretty much to run this system, all you need is a two cell LiPo, uh, plugs into the DC input here. And so let me get that all hooked up and I'll show you guys uh, the three functions on this neat little tester. All right, everyone, I got my brushless uh, motor here. Let me plug in the sensor. There we go. There's the sensor. And set it down. Then, so this one is plugged into A. So I look for A on the actual motor itself. Put that on the A tab. Look for B. Put that on the B tab and finally C put that on the C tab there we go we got battery check polarity reds red and black is black okay there we go we're on now let me uh, show you guys the uh, functions let me start by the motor check really quickly you guys can see here the readouts so there's 8.1 uh, 8 volts uh, no amps going in yet obviously no rpm and no kv since we're not running uh so to quickly enter the brushless uh, motor checker mode um, all we do is press the start button there we go it defaults automatically uh the third uh, only to three green lights so you can increase or decrease that uh by the throttle buttons here so we'll start off by decreasing so that's the lowest position there. You can see the RPM and the KV readout. So we'll increase it now to full throttle. So there we go. That's the amps. You guys see voltage of the battery. And um, quickly you can see RPM and KV. If you guys do press stop, it will save uh, the last readout as I'm gonna show you. So there you go, it saves the last readout uh, given by the tester. <clears throat> so now uh, let me quickly show you guys the uh, Hall Effect sensor test. So you guys can see here we got the lights. Uh, simply by turning the shaft, that's so sensor C is good, sensor A is good, and sensor B is good. So there we go, they're all functioning, it's reading every single one of them. And now let me show you guys uh, braking. 
Uh, very simple to enter the break in menu. Uh, you hold the mode button for about two seconds. Okay. And first you see the, um, the volts flashing. So that's how much voltage you actually want to break this motor in. You can go all the way down to, leave two point something, let me see. So 2.5, so you can break this motor in with only 2.5 volts going in. So this would be good for maybe the first run of your motor to really break in the, the bearing or even differential. And obviously the highest mode or the highest voltage is going to be, should be 8 point or 7.2. And by pressing the stop button, the turn, the, uh, this motor I have here is a five turn and it goes from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yeah, I believe that's the highest. So let me set it to five turn, which my motor is. And uh, to simply run the, uh, the break in, you just press start. So there you go. Voltage maxing out to 7.2. You guys can see the amps going in and the RPM. So let me show you guys uh, what it would do um, if you did leave it at the 2.5 so it wouldn't give more than 2.5 volts. So like I said, for running in probably the first time, press start. So 2.5 volts is a uh, max that's going to go through it. So you guys can see it's uh, very simple, uh, easy to use, and uh, can be a great tool uh, for uh, RC, us uh, RC car guys. Uh, check motor, check the sensors, um, pretty much, and even brake in. So it's a very neat tool to have, as you guys can see. Let me uh, quickly disconnect the battery. Okay, there we go, got battery disconnected. So. I uh, hope you guys like uh, today's video. Hope it was uh, pretty informative. Uh, you guys do purchase this. And if you guys want to check this out, be sure to head over to hobbyparts.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.